So this is my first um, journal entry, video journal, vlog, going to TVR tomorrow. And I bought this flip in June, and I've only used it once. So I'm going to use it now. i got to show you the books. This is the Kindle. Woohoo! Got the Daily Bibles. Radical. Into Thin Air by the guy who wrote Into the Wild. It's about his truck, trike, whatever. Trek. There you go, Trek. Um, <laughs> it's about his trek over to Mount Everest. I, I don't know why I couldn't think of Mount Everest, but it's Mount Everest. Then I want to take a shower, then I want to hit the sack, and then I want to wake up in like four hours, well, five hours, and go eat with a guy, uh, with, with my parents, but also with a guy named J.W. Uh, J.W., he is, he was at our church last night, he was, he's biking across America, he's, he went from, he started in, I think he's from Sarasota, Sarasota, <laughs> I don't know if I said that right, um, Florida, um, but he started in Key West, and he's going all the way up to D.C., to, um, he's raising money for hospice. He's going across the country and then taking the slow trek <laughs> all the way up to uh, Alaska. But um, maybe we'll bring the flip tomorrow and, you know, he'll talk about it and I'm sure he'll tell you stuff that I don't remember him saying. But yeah, this is it. I'm going to sleep and... I guess the next video will be in the morning. All right, JW, you have to tell your story of what you're doing riding across America <laughs> and how you got in with Midway, the okay. randomness. Well, I, uh, my name is JW Fry, <laughs> and I'm riding a bike 8,000 miles from Key West, Florida to Prudhoe Bay, Alaska um, to raise money for hospice. And I was riding by Midway the other day. Randomly. Rode, <laughs> yeah, randomly. Rode past it. And then, I don't know, just felt that I should go back, so I did and asked them if they had some woods that I could pitch a tent into. And I've been uh, living in a trailer behind the church ever since. <laughs> That's been six months. We're ready for him to leave now. He had to finish American Idol, so. But I've given him a going away party of pancakes and yeah, biscuits. And he's, he's gained 13 pounds since he's been here. He's ready to go. Uh, I'm not ready to go. We force him. We force him. So when are you going to get to Alaska? Um, hopefully August. August of this year, so it won't be too, 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 too freezing. Nice. But once I get, once I get to the Arctic zone, even in the summer, it's cold. It's oh, like yeah. how it is here. It's 50s in the, high 50s, 60s in the day, 40s and 30s overnight. Why Alaska? Why not just San Francisco? <laughs> Stop someplace. That's a good question. This is actually a very good question. First of all, conceptually, it's from the bottom of the the continental United States to southern, the top, southern southernmost point to the, to the northernmost point. See, I got that. I got that the first thing. And it makes sense. <laughs> but for me, west to there. But it makes perfect sense. But also, my mom, and because everything, every part of this is about something to do with hospice. And so, like the six months is because it's how much you can do with six months, because that's how long people have diagnosed with before they go in. So I'm trying to show that this six months is the beginning of a journey, not the end. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. You know, we're we're better we're better people that we have known, J.W. That's right. If I was on American Idol, I bet I'd get the vote. <laughs> we would. Well, but you get past the producers, but I don't I don't know. I'd go to Hollywood. <laughs> I don't know about we're Randy. Hollywood. <laughs> we're Hollywood. We're going to go to Alaska. <laughs> no one says that. Got the golden ticket of going to Alaska. <laughs> Hello. On the way to Plum Tree. <laughs> uh, I definitely thought that was for me. <laughs> he pulled out right as I was passing him. I got up today early for me, which was about 7:30, um, and we went to uh, IHOP with uh, JW, who you guys saw just a little bit earlier. Um, like, like what a cool story! Like, what, like how awesome is that? You know, like both his parents have died and but you know he's not I mean I'm sure he's still hurt by it but he's still just going on with his life and he's doing something you know he's going trek, trekking across America there's that word again trekking 
but you know he's trekking across America not just America like North America it's not just to California it's to Alaska like their furthest point as he said he could see Russia from Alaska it's a Sarah Palin joke you don't have to laugh it's cool um, but it's just so cool to see somebody like do something like raise money for a cause and like not wasting their life you know I feel like I've wasted a lot of time in my life and I, and I praise God that he's led me to TBR so I can um, I don't know so I can like learn more skills and just impact kids and I don't know I know he had me in Raleigh for a good while just you know to learn to go you know and serve where I was and that was a big step I had to take because when I got back from Iraq I didn't want to serve well I did want to serve but I wanted to do it at TBR but I think God definitely taught me how to serve at home, not just at TBR. Um, but yeah, this is this is the car. Got it all packed out. Woo! Um, I think I got two tubs in the back and my red duffel bag. <sighs> Did I pack too much? I don't know. I th this is what I figure. I get up there. I'm gonna unload my stuff. If there's if I have too much stuff, then take it back, you know, but at least I have this stuff, you know. As I was leaving, uh, a guy from my church named Derek Burke was working on our roof, and that's another guy who has a really cool story. He was, you know, doing drugs for a good bit of his life, and then almost a year ago, like last week or two weeks ago, you know, he, he, you know, he got saved, and he, he's like really turned his life around. What a cool story, like he went from like that to saved and just living for the Lord and working wherever you can work and not having to rely on drug money or anything like that. That's just so cool. And, and the, one of the things that really struck me was him saying to me early, because we were, we were working on the teen center at Midway uh, together and he was like, he thought about it a lot and after he was saved and he's like, why did it take, you know, almost 40 years of my life? for someone to come up to me and say, hey, let me tell you about Jesus, you know. And it's just like, in my life, like, who who do I talk to every day, or who do I talk to every now and then, or even on, you know, on Facebook, or I know them distantly, or guys in the army, or whatever, like, who do I know that doesn't know Christ, or I, I haven't shared Christ with them, you know, we're called to share Christ with them, we're not going to stuff it down the throat, we're not going to make them accept Christ, but... You know, who in, who in your life, you know, are you not only preaching the Word of God, but preaching it by your action. We get on these emotional highs where we're, we go, we hear preachers preach, and we're like, yeah, let's go, let's do it. Let's go preach the Word, let's go. And then, and then you know, the next day, you're back with the same thing. It's like, it's like going to summer camp, you know, when you're a teen, you go and it's awesome and you want to change your life and you want to change everything and two weeks later you're back in the same boat not necessarily doing the same sins but back in that same like lukewarm that lukewarmness you know I don't know I'm just ready to stop living this like sinful lazy life and I hope you are too um I don't know but yeah, on the way to Plumtree, on the way to TBR, going to eat lunch with Jordan Deaton, my boy. Um, he's up there, and I don't know, we're going to eat. Oh, I got, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to compromise and go get Chacos today, probably, which I've tried not to get since 2007, but now that I'm going to be working at TBR for a good while, I figure it might as well happen. And about Crocs yesterday. But they were like nice Crocs. Does that make sense? They're like leather ones. I mean, they were so rubber, but they were leather on top. But yeah, now I'm a Croc guy and a Chaco guy. I was trying on Chacos yesterday in the store uh, in REI just to get a feel for them. And I am a toe strap guy, I figured out. Um, <laughs> I could not figure out how to tighten them or loosen them. Well, I did. I'd, I'd get like one shoe perfect. I'm like, yes. And then I go to the next one and I'd be pulling different straps and I have no idea. So I guess that's just 
something I'm gonna have to learn. Anyways, yeah. I don't know. Oh, oh, Kurt Franklin. Old school. Um, yeah, that's not looking good. I knew there was going to be some weather today, but it's pretty dark. I hope it doesn't rain all the way up the mountainous hills of TBR land. Um, oh, I forgot to say that... Um, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Um, I don't know if I was excited or too much caffeine. I had a lot of cherry coke at Moe's. So I think it's both. But uh, yeah, for JW, I think his name is Fry. Last name Fry. Uh, he has a website. Um, but I know it's not cool to visit websites anymore. So he's also on Facebook. It's One Bike, One Cause. And it's called Let Me Go, but I think on Facebook it's just Let Me Go. I missed so many exits. <sighs> it's okay. Alright, we're almost to Boone, and we're in Fog City, apparently. Like, it literally like was like a, a wall. <laughs> like, me and the guy beside me. He started slowing down, and I was like, what is this guy doing? I, and then right when we got in, he, I can't see three feet in front of me. Okay, maybe three feet. Maybe like five. Five feet, okay. But uh, almost almost a burn, if I can get through this fog. Like, I, I, look at that. I can't see anything. Yo, 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 what up? Dude, word, word. word. This is Jordan Deaton. Word. What's Saeed? <laughs> He's very white. Um... <laughs> So Jordan, what's going on? Nothing much, bro. We just got done eating beef o' Brady's, one of the best burgers I've had in a long time. <laughs> You're chilling in Boone, which is pretty much awesome, except for right now it's raining and it's <laughs> miserable and it snowed earlier today. So it's just like 30 degrees and just like, ugh. But other than that, it's amazing. <laughs> and you're getting ready to go to camp, which is awesome, and I'm going to yeah, come down uh, and see you soon. All right, brother? Word. Hey, what did you have in your tea today? Or that string in here. I have no clue what that was. <laughs> I swear that's a mop string. <laughs> it might have been a mop string in my like my tea glass. It was nasty. Dude, I, good thing you're so cool about that because uh, <laughs> everybody else has been like. Well, I was like really disgusted, but it's 3:25, so I've got to run right, to class. <laughs> Later, buddy. Later, buddy. I start walking your way. You start walking mine. All right, what's up? Just up, drop Jordan off at his class. Um. Now I'm headed to TVR. Should get there at 4:30. It might be like 4:45 because I'm a grandma on the mountain roads, especially when it's raining. For some reason, I don't want to die. I don't know why. I don't like taking a sharp curve at 55 miles an hour. Um, but yeah, I also have uh, somebody with me. His name is Mr. Banana Pudding Milkshake from Chick Fil A. Yeah, really good. Um, but uh, yeah, so. We're on our way. This is Garrett. This is my roommate. Hey. <laughs> Jennifer, say hey. <laughs> Wait a minute. Open on the speakerphone. Now... What is she talking about? <laughs> hey, this is Tyler. Say hey, Tyler. Hey, Tyler. <laughs> this is Castman. <laughs> Can you not flip me off? <laughs> this is Bryce. <laughs> and this is, uh, this is no, the new... No, this is... <laughs> <laughs> this is the new place. <laughs> 